So my wife and I decided to take a e-skate date uh, because the weather was absolutely amazing. I'm wearing just a hoodie right here and she's wearing just a jacket. But anyway, she chose to ride the TRX and that board is so much faster than the electric switchblade, but it is, it's okay because I'm definitely a better rider than her. However, she hates the reverse kingpin because it doesn't turn. And I tell her that all the time, man. And the other board is a carbon fiber and it's built and all that stuff. But honestly, the thing turns. And if you're riding 20 miles an hour or under, which is going to be like 60% of the e-skate community, then you need to be able to turn to ride streets. Now, I'm on this electric switchblade, which is a onboard W1 that I just swapped everything over to. And I have thought about getting like a W2 kit to put on there to make it a little bit better and to put cloud wheels on there, but uh, it, I don't know, I keep going back and forth on it a lot. Direct drive is where I'm on it right now. Maybe a Rebel kit would be pretty tight. Anybody got any suggestions for that? As much as I'd want to put a 12S on it, I don't think it needs it. Maybe like a 10S 4P. I feel like double kingpin trucks get an extremely bad name in the community because a lot of people fall off of them. And I will admit, I have caught speed wobbles in the beginning, but I ride my board very fast, a lot. <laughs> On double kingpin trucks. And it, it's actually really stable. I plan to swap out the bearings that are in it for some yellow orangutan nipples and knuckles. And uh, maybe it would make it a little bit more reactive, which would be nice. But the front, the front truck is going to be purple uh, nipple set on top knuckle set on the bottom and I think that that board would just come alive but you know you got to tighten that back truck to be pretty doggone tight it's going to turn it turns an un believable amount more than the reverse kingpin when i jump on this board it's like i'm standing my entire weight on the corner to turn and it's just like blah nothing i'm so tight it's so stable but honestly though i do think that single kingpin definitely has its place in our community in our world but I also think that double kingpin trucks have their place as well. And I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I don't know if we're ever going to see a one to $2,000 category board with reverse kingpin. As you see me riding around the neighborhood... Uh, I'm really doing about 20 miles an hour. My wife is holding the speedometer and she can't look at it and tell me, but absolutely love riding with my wife, to be honest with you. It is easily my favorite person to ride with. I can't wait to build her a board with some cloud wheels on it so she'll ride. That's another, that's another thing that I feel like I'm backwards on the community about. I believe in double kingpin trucks and I believe in cloud wheels. I mean, I admit that I am spoiled to death on road quality and like where I get to ride and stuff like that. But honestly, man, cloud wheels over urethane all day. I've never ridden on the torque board 110s, but people are like ranting and raving about them. I would love to do that. But 
you know, really got to pick one to last and it's got to be right the first time. So, I mean, I honestly think that I'm just going to go with what I know, which is Cloud Wheels. The jury's still out on what I'm going to do with the trucks on this board because I really like it as a, a, a reverse kingpin. And just to keep it a buck with everybody, it is a Lanyon 38 inch switchblade. And I swapped everything from my own board W1 over to it. Looking back, I regret not buying the W2 off the rip. But at the same time, I'm really happy with what I got for sure. Uh, just like it to be slightly more upgraded to ride a lot more on the comfort side. And this feels like a skateboard with a motor, whereas the T-Rex feels way more like a vehicle. It's just tankier, I suppose, would be the best way to describe it. But I hope you like this style of video. Uh, more to come. I'm just going to keep making them. I love editing videos and things like that. So I hope you all enjoy. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Consider subscribing maybe. Be good out there. Get out there and ride something.